everyone, it's Tiffany, and I have a confession. I am really, really, really craving ice cream right now, and anybody who knows me knows that I love ice cream. So usually my fix is frozen banana and put it in the food processor, and it will literally be amazing, but um, like an ice cream consistency. But um, no frozen bananas right now. I had to go to the store, and now they're in the freezer. But um, so the real honesty in all of this is usually on the weekends I do have a small serving of ice cream. Now that doesn't make me a bad person, right? Um, no judging allowed. I know you all have something that you love and crave as well, but I blame it on my grandma actually. Um, <laughs> But really, she does keep her freezer full of ice cream and Oreos, and the only person that eats it is me. She doesn't eat it, her husband doesn't eat it, I mean, nobody eats it except for me. So I tell my grandma, please, please don't keep buying this. Well, Tiffany, you are, you're eating it, that's why I'm buying it for you. So it is a vicious cycle, but a little bit in moderation, didn't hurt anybody. Um, but most of the time, I do keep my life uh, my food intake clean and I want to let you guys know that it is possible to reach your goals in your body physique that you want and still enjoy a little bit every now and then. So I am normal. I do have cravings as well. I know you guys um, probably all see my post on Facebook and you think, oh, you know, she just follows everything clean all the time. It's not true. So um, it is all about moderation and it's definitely not about starving yourself. So, but I do want to encourage you that if you do feel like you are struggling in a certain area in your life, that you don't stay there. So, in my marriage, if I feel like it's struggling, if I stay and do exactly what I'm doing now in that struggle stage, then nothing's going to change and nothing's going to be better. But if I start applying myself in my marriage, showing my husband love, even when it's not easy, when I start going out of my way to make things happen, then that's when I start seeing results. So if you are struggling with your physical body and you're not going out of your way to make things happen, then you're going to stay there. And I know it seems scary, but at the same time, it's an amazing opportunity you have to be able to step up and say, I'm not going to stay here. And it really only takes that, the decision to say, I'm not staying here. So whether it's in your spiritual life, your physical body, your emotions, um, your interactions with family and friends, you have the power to change. God is here to help you, to encourage you along the way, to be with you every step, I am pushing you on, each and every one of you that comments and posts and likes, I am so excited to see what this is going to do for you. But I just want you to know that everyone has struggles and everyone has temptations. And just because their Facebook wall looks like it's peachy and perfect doesn't mean that their life is. So don't judge yourself by thinking that you are the only one stuck where you are because you can change. You can commit to something, but you have to make that decision first. So please, please, please make the choice not to stay where you are. Don't be stagnant because that only breeds negativity and a feeling of defeat. Because if you are where you are right now and you don't enjoy it, then you feel defeated. The only way to get out of that is to change something and make little goals. You don't have to make a big goal of, I need to lose 50 pounds by in three months. Make yourself small goals and then reward yourself for achieving those goals. So I hope that you decide to commit to something that's going to change your life in whatever area that you're struggling in. But guys, I want you to understand that everyone has struggles. I hope you have a good day.